Welcome to White and Hoyle, where we have another episode lined up for you. We got the... Hold on one second. Time for bed, baby, Bumblebee. Sorry you had to see that. But that zombie's been talking trash about us on the YouTubes. He had it coming. But anyway, this episode we're going to show you how to make an apocalyptic melee weapon. Man, I sure do love busting zombie skulls, but now that the zombie apocalypse is upon us, I'm plum tuckered out. I just wish there was a better way. But now, there is! Are you tired of zombies miring through your yard? And stealing your stuff? What you need is the Dwight and Hoyle Zombie Cleaver. But a knife like this must cost hundreds of dollars. But Dwight, you know money is worthless now. You're gonna have to make this yourself. Okay, first thing you're gonna need is a lawnmower. Well, really a lawnmower blade. Like this. Find a stick for the handle. Camper wood. Everybody knows that camper wood repels zombies. Mark the handle as to the length of your hand. Divide the handle along an axis so that you can divide the handle in two. The other side of the cross are for the holes that will hold the handle on the knife. Find a suitable drill bit the size of the bolts that you're going to put in. Drill the holes all the way through the handle, both ends. Now you're going to split the handle so that they can be attached the two parts to the knife blade. Saw. Saw saw. Dangerous sawing. Dangerous sawing. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. And more sawing. Two sides are the two parts of this handle. And here's the blade with the tools that you're gonna need. A little advertising for work. <laughs> They the, never knew. <laughs> the all-powerful Oric. Right. The Dakota Hobo Hole Forge. Notice the flower. You must have some charcoal or coal, but we're going to say charcoal. Light off the hobo hole and apply air through the intake hole, which reaches all the way to the bottom of the forge. Once the charcoal is lit, you add the blade with a holder. In this case, a pair of cheap bite scripts. Hand protection would be good. The blade must be brought up to temperature so the forging process can begin. It's done by eye. Here's the forging process. Anvils are nice, but you can use a flat stone or a piece of heavy uh, iron or whatever. Railroad tie, iron. You can only work on it while it's in a molten state. You might have to reheat it a couple times just to get the uh, curve out of the blade. Remember it's for cutting grass and to pull the grass up. You do it to both sides. After marking the holes with the wood, marking the blade so that the handle can be attached to the blade and there's no excess metal. Now we're finishing the blade. We're going to cut off the excess. Make sure that you work away from yourself and not toward yourself. This is important. So uh, what happened there, Hoyle? <laughs> uh, uh, I neglected the first rule. Safety first. <laughs> now I'm putting a, a rude edge on the blade. This will save you a lot of work later because if you don't, you're just going to be using a file for, oh, I don't know, two, three, four hours, something like that. There's a lot of metal that you have to remove to make, actually make this into a blade. So, if you do a little bit of work with the angle grinder, you'll save yourself a lot of work later. 
Okay, now we're tempering the end of the cleaver and we're ready to put the uh, handle together after we clean it up a little bit with a wire wheel. You done polishing there, Hoyle? I'm done polishing. <clears throat> yep, enough lipstick. Drill some holes in your handles so you can recess the bolts. Now attach the handles to the cleaver tightly. You might want to use some epoxy later on, but right now we're just tightening it down. There we go. One bona fide zombie cleaver. The zombie nice. Cleaver. The zombie cleaver. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thanks for tuning in to our episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my name is D. White. I'm Hoyle. And if you tune in next week, uh, we're going to be talking about the apocalypse scenario known as Dick Cheney. <laughs>